Marksville, Louisiana, where, as the water tower says, everybody is a somebody. And the somebody everybody here is talking about is six-year-old Jeremy Martis, killed in a blaze of bullets, fired by two deputy city marshals during the pursuit of a car the boy's father, Chris Few, is driving. Few was neither armed nor were there warrants for his arrest. How could it happen? According to some, this small town has big problems. It's a whole lot of things that's wrong. And it, it, it's sad for the say that it, it took a six years old boy for them to come and see what is really going on down here. And it, it's just not right. Fingers point to the deputy marshals now charged with Jeremy's death. 32 year old Derek Stafford and 23 year old Norris Greenhouse Jr. Stafford's also a Marksville police officer. Even the mayor says he's had conflicts with him. I tried to talk on the pre to the previous chief about it, you know, and nothing was done. So has Patrick Johnson, who says Officer Stafford had him arrested just for complaining about it. Made a complaint to the Avoid Power Sheriff Office, and later on, I guess they heard that over the radio, and uh, they sent a, a, a police officer uh, arrest me for uh, disturbing the peace. Johnson sued. It's one of five lawsuits that named Stafford as a defendant. A woman alleges Stafford used a stun gun on her, even though she was already handcuffed and in the back seat of a police car. In another suit, a mother accuses the officer of restraining her teenage daughter so forcibly in a school bus that the girl had to be treated at a hospital for an injury to her arm. All of the suits are still pending. We reached out to Stafford's civil attorney, Derek Whittington, who told us, quote, I will not be making any comment regarding litigation involving the city of Marksville or its employees, unquote. Then there are the criminal allegations against Stafford. Two counts of aggravated rape stemming from 2004 and 2011. Those charges were later dropped. Whatever the previous allegations, of course, none of them explain what everyone wants to know. Why did a pursuit that night end with an unarmed man critically wounded and his six-year-old son sitting beside him dead?